Now that you've had a demonstration of the RapidZ calculator, let's consider a few more examples. Our next example will be with a Conquest 3 to 9 by 40 MC and RapidZ 600 for deer hunting over longer distances. Starting off on our login screen, simply log in remembering that if you would like to print out the instructions for using the RapidZ calculator, they are available in the PDF at the bottom of the screen. Continue to log in. You will first come to the main data form. Let's select a common hunting round for whitetail, perhaps a 3006. As always, instructions for using the calculator are always in the upper right hand part of the screen. First, let's select a factory load by clicking on the Obtained Factory Ammo bar on the right. We can now select a factory load by following the instructions on the right. For our example, let's select a Federal 150 grain soft point in 30 out 6. Then click on Update to capture the information. Click on the main data form, which will place us back in this screen. Again, we can change any of our influencing factors like altitude or temperature here if we like. But for our example, we will leave the setting to zero altitude and 59 degrees. Now, all we have to do is click on reticle analysis form. Following the instructions to the right, enter the maximum power setting of the Zeiss rifle scope you're considering into the maximum power box in the upper left hand side of the screen. Then select the reticle and click Submit Data to be sure to capture the information we have selected. Now click on Optimize Power. The results you return should be 6.35 times power. You would simply need to set the scope to this power setting in order to provide the ballistic match of RapidZ reticle to the ammunition being used as seen on the zero point column. While this number is not exactly detailed in the power change ring on the rifle scope, power can be set between 6 and the marker 6.5 on the magnification change ring with actual range work completed to ensure accuracy of the reticle to the ammunition being used. For example, while shooting at 400 yards, if your point of impact is high, increase your magnification slightly. If your point of impact is low, then turn your magnification down slightly. In either situation, you are fine-tuning the optimal power setting to match your true ballistic point of impact. We have a good match of the ammunition and rapid Z reticle being used, and although these numbers are not exact matches between the bar or distance reference and actual flight path of the bullet as seen in the zero point, they are, ballistically speaking, insignificant in terms of any deviations between them. Let's look at a few other examples. Since you're already logged in, we can view the next two examples very easily. Let's look at the Rapid Z 1000 for long distance 308 target or steel shooters. Simply start off on the main data form. We are going to select a round we prefer for long distance mat shooting. Following the prompts in the upper right hand part of the screen, click on Obtain Factory Ammo Data. We are going to select a Remington match load, specifically a 175 grain Match King Boat Tail Hollow Point in 308. Once you've selected this, select the main data form again and change any input data you would like if necessary. We will leave it to our defaults of zero altitude and 59 degrees. Once you are set here, click on the reticle analysis form. Let's say we're considering a Victory Diavari 6 to 24 by 56 T-Star FL rifle scope, which would be an excellent choice for our purposes. Enter the maximum power of the scope into the maximum power box in the upper part of the screen. Then the reticle we are considering, the RapidZ 1000, would be best suited for use with heavier 308 match loads. Then select Optimize Power. You should receive results of 22.16 magnification to set the rifle scope to. You will also note two additional things. First, we have an exceptionally close match of the RapidZ 1000 reticle to the 308 Remington 175 grain match king we selected. 
Secondly, that the Rapid Z1000 requires a 500 yard sight in on the center of the reticle, which means at 100 yards, although you are holding dead center on the reticle, which is the 500 yard reference for this particular reticle, you must adjust the elevation adjustments until the bullet physically impacts 12.17 inches high from center using the 100 yard crosshair as noted in the impact at 100 yards reference towards the top. The concept is that although you are shooting at 100 yards, the round would drop 60.8 inches over 500 yards and intersect the center of the reticle, which is the 500 yard reference for the Rapid Z1000. Let's try a more involved example. How about a varmint hunter using a Conquest 6.5 to 20 by 50 with Rapid Z varmint? All we have to do from here is to go to the main data form. Let's now try a hand load. Instead of selecting the obtained factory ammo data, select the obtained bullet reloading data. Remember, everything you need is detailed in the upper right hand corner. In the bullet data form, let's use the example of a hand load using a Hornaday VMAX bullet, specifically a 40 grain bullet and 204 Ruger. Just select the brand and bullet designs as we had before. It is just not loaded ammunition. Then select the main data form. Be sure the bullet you selected appears in the bullet load line at the top of the screen. Previous information may still populate the cartridge line. As long as the bullet you selected is there, then everything will work out for your calculations. Since we are hand loading, the muzzle velocity must be changed based on the actual velocity of the hand loaded round. We recommend using a chronograph and a reloading manual to confirm the actual velocity. We are going to use 3800 as our muzzle velocity as a safe velocity for the bullet we selected. Simply key in 3800 into the muzzle velocity field, then submit data to capture the change you have made. Let's also change the atmospherics of altitude and temperature to 750 feet and 80 degrees to introduce a few other change parameters. Again, submit data to capture this information. We can now go to the reticle analysis form. As before, change the maximum power information and the reticle selection to show the combination of Zeiss Rapid Z reticle and rifle scope we are using. In our example, the Conquest 6.5 to 20 by 50 MC and Rapid Z varmint. Then, just optimize the power. 19.95 times magnification is an excellent match and for all intents and purposes, the rifle scope can be used at its maximum power of 20 times magnification. Furthermore, we have a good match of the reticle to the ballistic drop of our load from 200 yards out to 600 yards. Again, our sight and information is located at the top of the screen. As we have seen through our various examples, Rapid Z ballistic reticle options from Carl Zeiss offer a wide variety of options in reticles and scopes for all types of long range hunting and shooting styles, providing accurate, intuitive, and safe shooting solutions for almost any long distance situation. With some time and practice, use of the calculator will become second nature to you and provide you and your customer excellent solutions with Zeiss rifle scopes and Rapid Z reticles. If you need additional technical support, please contact Zeiss at 1 800. 441-3005 or email us through our website at www.zeiss.com sports.